Hi, my name is Pinyuan, and this is my partner Jason. We are both from Bukit Panjang Government High School. Our team name is Leonard, and our team ID is 1441. The league we are participating in is the RCAP Co-Space Autonomous Driving Challenge U19 category. While Jason has a bit of experience in doing co-space last year, he claimed that he had forgotten a lot of the interface, while I have no experience at all using the co-space interface. Since we were both sort of new to the interface, it took us a bit of time to understand everything. Coincidentally, our trainer had gone through a bit of the co space interface with us during a lesson, which helped us pull through. We had a bit of trouble with understanding and coding, but we had our trainer and our fellow CCA mates to help us, and we also guided them at times. As shown, the one on the left is Jason from 204, and the one on the right is me, Pinyuan from 301. The challenge we participated in was the co-space autonomous driving unit new 19 category, which was to program a robot to reach a certain goal using line tracing and color sensing. At, at the start, we had struggled using Python to code since we were new to using Python in co-space. But once we reinforced our understanding in the co-space interface, we were able to cope, which in turn managing to successfully program our robot using Python. We used a mix of the AI interface and Python for the different challenges. We found that Python was a bit more flexible in terms of using the oper operators such as more than and less than. While our, our run wasn't the fastest, we managed to learn how to apply Python in a real world context and had lots of fun experimenting with different values and managing to complete it was extremely satisfactory. The mission was to make the robot travel a route and along the way there were waypoints for the robot to stop and blink for a duration of two seconds before continuing there were also certain colors for the robot to sense to help us to sum up there were basically around five mini tasks the first being the basic line tracing which wasn't too hard to program however we had to experiment with different values for the waypoint and the different colors so it took us a while to get the right range. Once we did, all we had to do was to make it turn a certain value, and after that, it was generally quite okay and we managed to complete the task. Once the mini tasks were completed, we were basically done because all the parts of the challenge were complete. All that was left to do was a bit of testing and rectifying the speed. We used Python to program for the preliminary round specifically as we wanted to give ourselves a challenge, as well as to experience using Python to program. We made a basic line tracing program and used the range function to calculate the different ranges for the different colors. We also used a simple variable which acted as a counter and that enabled us to make it stop for 2 seconds and blink on the waypoint. We went with Python because we felt that it was a language we were familiar with, unlike using C to add variables if we had used the AI GUI, which stands for Graphical User Interface. Python allowed us to have an easier time to program due to our basic knowledge. For easy visual visualization, we created a flowchart for the basic line tracing, which can be found in the next slide. So basically what's happening over here is that when the L1 sensors white, what we want it to do is move forward. And so if the R1 sensors white, we also want it to move forward. And the speeds for both are the same. Uh, now if L2 sensors white, what we want it to do is move left slightly. Uh, if R2 sensors white, we want it to move right slightly. And if L3 sensors white, that means it's extremely off course, we want it to move left sharply. Uh, if R3 senses white, it's also off course and we want it to move right sharply. Now, um, if all these doesn't, like, if the robot doesn't sense, what I will do is basically uh, try to like sense again. Uh, and yeah, that's about it for the flowchart. Now, the flowchart served as a visual aid for us as it helped us plan out the speed for the line tracing accordingly. 
Python was a flexible language which we used to cope the line tracing by using the IR sensors. We then used three color sensors and used operators like more than or less than, as well as a built-in function range to help us decide on the range for the color. We also discussed the outline of the code and what we wanted the robot to achieve by having a basic layout of the code we wanted. The line tracing was planned using a flowchart while the color sensor was planned through pseudocode. For example, if the robot senses red, turn right. Some issues we faced were the robot not continuing to move after stopping at certain waypoints and that the robot would not sense the color at times during the run. To solve the first problem, we created a variable which would count how many times the robot has sensed orange, which is the color of the waypoint. When it senses the waypoint, it adds 1 to that variable, making it move at full speed. As for the second issue, we decide to experiment with slower speeds to ensure that the robot doesn't go too fast for it to sense the colors. We also tried changing the range for certain colors due to it being a different shape of color. Line tracing was at a suitable speed as it wasn't too fast or slow, which enabled the robot to sense the color sensors properly. While we didn't get a fast timing, we were quite happy that the robot managed to complete the line tracing. We managed to have good runs, but it definitely wasn't the fastest among our team. Well, we were just pretty happy that we managed to complete the run. Some improvements that we can have is to use another programming method known as the PID line tracing, as it is known to be more effective and accurate. We could have planned a bit more before getting into the coding, which will help us have a clearer vision of what we intend to achieve. We have also heard of certain algorithms like A star algorithm, which help as it provides better accuracy and efficiency as it chooses the shortest path possible. Learning experiences, we have learned how to use Python in basic real world situations. And we have also learned some new ways of writing codes, like adding variables as counters. Therefore, gaining valuable experiences using the code space interface. We have also learned how to properly plan a presentation. For certain themes for growth like, to maintain it being concise and neat, there are little space to write in. Thus, choosing the right theme would make the presentation easier and cleaner. Well, one point that we both agree that is important and other code space game players should take note is that planning ahead is extremely important. It allows you to have a clear idea of what you want to do and it will be easier for you to do the, to do the code. 